If the self-imposed sanctions hold up, the Arizona men's basketball program is looking at losing a scholarship and reduction of recruiting. I'm Brian Roy for the Daily Wildcat examining the University of Arizona's recent NCAA infractions in its men's basketball program. From 2006 to 2008, the U of A's McHale Center hosted one of the premier AAU tournaments. As a reporter covering the event in 2008, I talked to many recruits and parents at the event. All of them said it was one of the best run tournaments on the West Coast. Maybe it was too well run. In 2008, the University of Arizona issued a letter to its boosters, better known as the Rebounders Club, asking for donations at the AAU tournament. The tournament was a great way to show recruits U of A's resources and facilities. However, asking university boosters to aid recruits financially is against NCAA rules. Olson said the letter asking for donations contained his electronic signature, knowing that such letter would be a clear-cut infraction of NCAA rules. The university both self-reported the infraction and issued self-sanctions, which will be reviewed by the NCAA in April. The final report also stated that UA assistant coaches Russ Pennell and Mike Dunlap broke the rules during the Cactus Classic by watching the event during a dead period of recruiting. In fact, the Daily Wildcats' first interview with Pennell was during the Cactus Classic, while he was sitting in the stands with his daughters just days after being hired by Lute Olson as an assistant. We also saw Josh Passner cleaning out his office during the event as he was heading out to become an assistant for John Calipari at Memphis and told the Daily Wildcat that he wasn't allowed to be seen watching the event per NCAA rules. Even further than the infractions, Cactus Classic director Jim Story has been involved with the Arizona Athletic Department for the past couple seasons. Story is the publisher of popular fan site GoAZCats.com, which covers UA basketball recruiting as a Rivals.com affiliate. GoAZCats has broken many sensitive stories throughout the past two seasons, often citing anonymous sources close to the Athletic Department. So what does all this mean for Arizona basketball? It's been a clean past two decades before the Cactus Classic, and the NCAA may even settle for UA's self-sanctions. When asked in Seattle whether Sean Miller thought the sanctions would affect recruiting, he responded by saying no, not really, and said he wasn't surprised by the situation he was made aware of even before he took the job at Arizona. We won't know until April whether Arizona's self-punishment will hold up with how the NCAA views the situation. I'm Brian Roy for DailyWildcat.com.